welcome to the Giving Tree. My name is Mrs. Leary, and I'm going to explain a little bit to you about your projects today and a little bit about our organization. So the Giving Tree started 12 years ago, and it started with a wish that children everywhere could learn the lessons of giving back to others and thinking about those people in our world, in our community that are in need. So we developed a variety of projects and activities to help students like you think about those people who are in need of some type of comfort and maybe some type of food if they're hungry and other supplies for school and things that they might need to have. So this gives us the opportunity to stop a little bit in our day and take a break from our schoolwork and think about someone who needs our help because helping is super important and it makes us a better person and it brings joy to people who need it. So we are gonna introduce you to a few different projects. And one of the projects that we're gonna talk about is a Crafts for Fun bag. And when you get to do this project, you're gonna see you're gonna have a Ziploc bag and you're gonna have the opportunity to color the label and make it pretty and colorful for the student that's going to receive it. And then there's a few craft items. So we have markers and crayons and we have an activity book and a coloring book. And it's a special treat. And we're going to give these to some children that attend local boys and girls clubs in our area. So let's talk a little bit about what the boys and girls clubs do. So the boys and girls club is an organization that is funded through grants in our community and helps provide a place for children to go that need a place to go after school. Maybe their parents are working and they'd like their kids to have a nice, safe environment with great counselors and people to help them. They even have after school homework clubs where kids can get special help with their homework. So kids go there and they get to sometimes play games. They get to have a little bit of activity like sports and fitness. Um, they get to learn about life skills and health, maybe good nutritious snacks. Um, and they get some tutoring help as well. So students that go there often could use this type of help. They could use something like a box of crayons or an activity book or a coloring book just to make their day a little bit brighter. And that's really what we want to do. We want to say that we're going to sit at our desks today and think about a student in another school or another desk and let's try to bring some joy to them. And when they get to the Boys and Girls Club, they're going to get this special treat. Um, so a Crafts for Fun bag has a variety of activities and it really is what it says crafts for fun it's just giving the kids an opportunity to do something a little bit different and just color and relax and enjoy it um, you know sometimes children and youth they don't necessarily have items like this because sometimes their parents are really busy saving their money to buy their groceries and pay their electric bill and sometimes they need to buy clothes and shoes and you know, buying crayons might not be on the list that month. So this is a special treat for those kids to not have to think about where it's coming from or whether mom and dad can afford those crayons. We're just going to give it to them to bring a little joy to them. So you're also going to make a little card with it. And that card is going to have a fill in the blank sheet inside. And it says all about me. And this gives you an opportunity to connect with that student. Tell them a little bit about yourself and spread a little bit of joy you know give them something to think about and they can read their card decorate the front make it really pretty and you'll bring some joy to a child that needs a little bit of a pick-me-up so that's your first project now Doris is going to talk to you a little bit about your next project and what that's going to be all about hi everyone I'm Mrs. Fox so the next project is called a kindness cup and these are going to go to individuals who are experiencing homelessness. And this just starts with a simple white paper cup. And we're gonna ask that you decorate the cup with encouraging thoughts and messages and maybe draw some special things. Um, just something bright and, and happy. Then you're gonna fill it with three simple items that are really nutritious because for those that are experiencing homelessness, they could be in that situation for many different reasons. It could be for a loss of job, um, just severe poverty, perhaps an illness, um, mental sickness as well. Many different reasons, maybe something that you and I might not even understand. However, 
one of the main things, I mean, think about it, if they don't have a home to go to, there are many, many issues that they deal with. One, especially being where they might get their next meal. So these snacks are really very simple. There's cookies, a granola bar, and then a pack of crackers. And you'll put them inside your decorated cup. And then you're going to put it inside this bag, tie it off with a ribbon. And then there's a little tag that you can put your, your name on there as well. And uh, maybe even write a little message on the back. Then, as Mrs. Larry had talked about a card that you're going to make for a student, you're also going to make a card for a person who is experiencing homelessness. Now, these cards are, they're going to hang on to this well after the food is gone. You'll find that uh, we do find that they hang on to these cards. One of the things that uh, the, the lack of dignity is something that a lot of homeless people do uh, feel. And um, this card will really help them. It'll, they're going to know that someone thought of them today. Someone, they're going to feel special. So think of some encouraging thoughts. There are some message suggestions in your, uh, a part of your, your package as well. And uh, take some time with this. I call these magic pieces of paper because it really does. It can brighten someone's day, give them hope and encouragement, and uh, they'll know that you thought of them. So thank you for taking the time and doing this today. Um, so you guys are doing a wonderful thing. Please know that you're going to be touching a lot of people um, for the students who are in need, as well as the homeless individuals. So we thank you for being a part of this and for making a difference in the world.